Thanks Athletic Greens for sponsoring this video. And everything starts off with this. Pound per pound, the most expensive piece of meat in the world. And for good reason, take a look at this marbling. It is just insane. You see, in an auction in Japan, a bluefin tuna can be sold for over $3 million. And today we're going to be comparing it with steak. To be specific, Kobe Wagyu beef. Also the most expensive piece of beef in the world. I want to answer one question. Which one is better? And since we're going to have several different ways to have a true comparison, both meats will be prepared exactly exactly the same way, seasoned the same way, as this will let us know which one is best. So let's begin. The very first preparation is going to be this, nigiri. The first thing we need to do is to go ahead and do some butchering. And butchering it is a skill. You want to slice it in one go and avoid at all costs sewing the meat. This way will give an incredible mouthfeel. Then you want to create little hatch marks like this. Once it was done, both meats are now ready. Now the next ingredient is one of the most important, and it is sushi rice. Now this might look like normal sushi rice, but it is actually a Michelin star chef special recipe. And I gotta tell you, this rice is incredible just by itself. However, we still need to make the nigiri. So first thing to do was to grate it real wasabi. Then add a little bit underneath the tuna, immediately go in with the rice, and then mold it and finish it up with a little bit of soy sauce right on top. Now the same exact thing was done with the wagyu beef. And I mean, by the time he was done, take a look. This looks incredible by itself. And today we're really gonna find out which one is gonna be better. However, there's one more thing still to do, and that is to press hard charcoal on this wagyu beef. Because now the nigiri preparation is done. And I can cannot wait to find out which one we're gonna like better. Now the next preparation is gonna be this. And this one is just as insane as the previous one. Let me show you how it was made. The first thing to do was to go ahead and get the butchering done. They were sliced into small strips, then we cubed them. Once they were done, they were finely minced. Now here's the biggest difference between them. The toro was finely minced several times. However, the Kobe beef was not. And that's because the important thing is a mouthfeel. Having a little bit of chew is actually desirable. Now once that was done, the next step was to go ahead and make a marinade. So into a bowl he added raw ginger, followed by gochujang, so sauce, honey, and a little bit of sesame oil. Now mix it well and the marinade is done. To put it all together, he started by seasoning both meats with a little bit of salt, then some green onions, and the marinade that was just made. Mix everything well and combine those ingredients, and then a crucial part of making tartare is to go ahead and keep it as cold as possible. So for that, he made an ice bowl underneath it. Because I mean, come on, take a look at this. They look absolutely delicious. At the same time, he said, you know what, let's go an extra step. And that was to make crispy rice. First, we need to press some rice. And if you don't have this tool that he's using, you can always use some baking sheet. The next thing to do is to go ahead and cut it in small squares. And the final step is to deep fry it. First, you add a little bit of cornstarch, then immediately into a 350 degrees Fahrenheit oil. You're just looking for a little bit of color. Once that's done, add a little bit of Japanese 7 spice and finish it off with the tartare that was just made. Now this is something everyone will love. At least that's my hope. Because I forgot to tell you one thing, my nephew Angel hates seafood. So I'm really curious to find out if he's going to enjoy it or hate this. Talking about that, this is the final preparation. First, of course, I have to go with the steak. I kept the seasoning really simple because I really want to taste it. A little bit of salt followed by freshly ground black pepper and that's it. Now for the total, this is the piece I got. I kept it exactly the same way. A little bit of salt followed by freshly ground black pepper and that's it. Comparing it both side by side like this is something else. Because now, as you know, there's only one thing left to do. That is to go ahead and grill it to perfection. Because now I say it is enough talking and it is time to grill some beautiful meat. So let's do it. Does that look good or what? And before we try it, I want to thank today's sponsor, AG1. This is my daily routine. I have to exercise in the morning and I have to drink my AG1. And this new year, my goal is to keep that routine consistent. I'll be traveling a lot, but that's not a problem because AG1 Travel Packs makes it easy to stay committed to my intentions wherever, whenever. AG1 is a comprehensive daily nutrition made up of 75 high quality whole food source ingredients, including vitamins, minerals, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens, carefully curated to nourish all the body systems holistically. It's 
it solves two of the most important health needs, the nutrients your body needs each day and the foundation of long-term gut health. And with so much traveling and crazy schedule, I need sustained energy. AG1 provides nutrients that support sustained physical and mental energy. It helps me with performance and recovery, improved digestion, and healthy aging. What's not to love about that? One scoop or travel packet of AG1, eight ounces of water, just mix it up, drink it, and it's that easy. And it tastes great. I really crave it each morning. Go to athleticgreens.com slash googlefoods to get started on your order. Athletic Greens is going to give my community a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D3 plus K2 and five free travel packs with your first purchase. Thank you, AG1, for sponsoring this video. But now, let's get right back to it. All right, everybody. Here we got our beautiful dishes. I mean, take a look at this, gentlemen. What do you guys think? This is a very different type of Google Foods video right here. Look real fancy, everybody. And we had a lot of help today. Thank you, Chef Mike. Thank you, Chef Hiro, for this incredible experience, I must say. I'm excited to try it. I don't know about you guys, but I'm pumped. I'm so pumped. <laughs> we, yes. like, we like seafood. Yes, and I'm very excited. Whenever Chef Hero's around, I already know it's gonna be delicious. With all that being said, I say enough talking, let's go for it, okay? So we have the A5 and the Toro cooked. So let's try that first. Are you ready? Yeah, this looks like a good time. <laughs> enough talking, let's give it a go. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, it doesn't get old. As soon as you take a bite, it is an explosion in your mouth. Juices go all over everywhere and just coat your tongue beautifully. Such a decadent piece of steak. It's extremely, extremely rich. You feel that juice, like you're saying, that, that fat just flow into your mouth and leave such a wonderful taste. It's so soft, so tender. It's awesome. How about you, Angel? Wagyu A5. It's just really good and it's very fatty and it's so yummy because it's so fatty. That is delicious. Now let's go for the total. Have you ever had Japanese Wagyu A5 but instead of beef seafood? I don't think I have, no. That's what that is, everybody. That's literally what that is. <laughs> Enough talking. Let's dig in, please. It looks like a steak. It does. Let's see if it tastes like one. No, I already smelled it. It doesn't smell like a steak. No, what does it smell like? It smells like fish. <laughs> Google, look, look at our pieces that we're trying and look at Angel's piece. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Angel, you're going real small. <laughs> this is a big piece. Oh, I want no, you to show the camera. A, That's a... This is a big piece right here. Enough talking. Let's give it a go. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Oh, man. Oh, That's a 10 out of 10. We'll highly recommend. I'm absolutely shocked how soft that is. The softest piece of fish I've ever tried in my entire life. Very flavorful, really rich and delicious. The outside of it was very crunchy and then the inside was very soft, but the flavor was, you know. You don't like the flavor. <laughs> If you don't like fish, you don't like fish. Here's what it is like for me. It is very similar to Japanese Wagyu A5 in the terms of how it coats your mouth with the amountness of fat, everybody. It's so much fat and deliciousness. It's just amazing. Now, the next one is a Wagyu tartar. Put a little bit of the beef on top of the rice and it's just a one bite thing. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm. That's really good. That's delicious. The sauce completely changes the flavor profile. Oh, this is delicious. You don't even really taste how rich and fatty it is. 100% agree. The, what do you think? The first thing that I noticed was the sesame oil. Sesame oil and steak. There's something to be said Come about on. the crispiness together with the freshness of the beef. When you take a bite together, it's like the perfect marriage. It's very creative because on this one, you don't have any crunch from the steak itself. There's no crust, so you get that crunch from the rice. That's creative, that's smart. I have a problem because I'm going to be keep saying 10 out of 10 will highly recommend on this video, everybody. That was incredible. Okay, let's try the tuna. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's... That's way more enjoyable. You know why I think Angel says that? I think it's because of the sauce. It really kills the fish flavor. That's exactly why. Get... Again, it's completely different than the first way that we tried it. It's a little bit sweet. And extremely fatty. Today's theme is fat on top of fat, everybody. And fat is flavor, as you know. <laughs> very good. Enough talking. Now we're going to go for the very last one. Beef first. Okay. Dig in, Angel. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm, that rice is special. You can tell wow. by the <laughs> rice. This is not his first time around, everybody. It's such a delicious bite. You get that rice, you get the wasabi, you get that beef. You don't really taste a lot of that fattiness. It doesn't taste super overpowering. Just really nice, really light, and really delicious. I'm excited to try the toto. Are you guys ready? Let's go. Dig in. Come on, Angel. I'm excited for you. Having a hard time today, guys. It's one bite, okay? The whole thing? Yes, sir. Oh. You cannot take a little piece. This is so tough. Enough talking, let's give this a go. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, that's amazing. That's really good. Don't you think, Angel, it's really good? Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Angel, you all right? Mmm. <laughs> that's amazing, Liam. That's really good. What happened, bro? Ah! 
Yeah, good job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it delicious? It was so good. <laughs> I think the theme of the video is that Andrew does not appreciate the fish. I appreciate the fish. I just appreciate the steak a lot more. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> Absolutely delicious. Thank you so much, Chef Mike, for coming and making this incredible dish for us. Chef Hiro, thank you so much. Guys, make sure you guys check them out. I'll put all of their social media on the link down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything's always on the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.